Hey guys, it's Morgan with Raising the Bar Performance and we're hanging out here in the office today getting some fun admin work done. Uh, puppies are in the background making lots of noise as usual. <laughs> um, but that being said, we're here to talk about our why and how video series and today's why and how is the pause squat. So why in powerlifting would you implement a pause squat? It is a great way to develop um, the strength in the bottom of the squat. So it forces you to move out of a static position. So essentially think about being in the bottom of your squat and, and pausing there, but not losing any tension, maintaining that tension, you're at an isometric hold. So in that hold, when you're ready to drive up, you're coming out of a static position. There's no rocking, it's straight forward, straight up, straight down. Um, so it forces you to be able to develop that force from that static position. The um, second thing, it's gonna make you stronger in the hole. Um, just knowing that you're spending more time there, you're building uh, your tolerance for the tension and the load in that position, um, which you know, for most people it can be a, a pretty good sticking point. Um, and then just explosive speed. So if you have a newer athlete, um, by doing these pause squats, they have to develop more force. So you can help them develop, um, improve, or sorry, improve their <laughs> explosiveness out of the hole. So there's just a couple way, uh, reasons why you might use a pause squat in your lifting or in your training program. Um, here I'm going to go ahead and show you what the pause squat looks like and give you a few cues and pointers on um, or to make sure that you're doing it correctly. If you have any questions, as usual, post below. Happy to answer. Um, you know, we can talk about when to put it in the program, what makes the most sense. Um, but feel free to post below, watch the how portion of the video, and uh, thank you guys for watching as always. Here we go on pause squats. Alright, so your setup for your pot squat is going to be identical to your normal back squat, um, whether you're low bar or high bar. Here I'm going to step back into position, uh, making sure that my back is tight against the bar. I'm um, creating that intra-abdominal pressure and then descending down into the bottom of the squat. I'm going to hold that tension there for a two to three count. So you don't want to lose tension. Don't relax. Just like I said before, you want to hit full depth. Keep your weight evenly distributed on your feet. Brace and maintain that tension, keeping your chest tall. Have that two to three count pause so that you can explode out of the bottom. So no relaxing. Hit the full depth, pause, and explode out of the bottom as quick as you can. Here is an example of what not full depth looks like. So you do not want to be above parallel. You want to be parallel or slightly below. Utilize the paw squat in your programs if you're trying to um, build tolerance for heavier loads in the bottom position or if you have a general sticking point in the bottom of the squat. If you have any questions or want more programming information, visit us at www.raisingthebarperformance.com.